What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about drum fills and tom fills and why they add so much sauce in your beats. So let's get right into it. So adding them into your beats can really help you transition stuff. So let's listen to this. All right, something simple, right? Now let's hear it with everything. See, that's just going on at the end of every eight bars of my drums. And it really just adds some transitional value and evolution in the beat. Now, it's pretty simple to make tom fills. So I just usually put on a different pattern. It really just consists of tom. So if you throw in a bunch of tom one shots, if you don't have any of those, go to reddit r slash drum kits and look up uh, some boom bap uh, drum kits or tom fill drum kit, some stuff like that. And you can get your own toms that way. But there's a knob right here right next to the volume is panning you can pan each one of these to the right and to the left to really get some extra sauce in the drum fill but also try to keep it realistic you don't want to put too much to where it sounds like a drummer wouldn't be able to do that like for example something like this like with multiple toms going off that just wouldn't work not too bad but it sounds convoluted now, a lot of times I also like to add in snares, as you can see here. Let's solo this again. Just keep in mind, so they're going to be hitting the toms with one hand. And that leaves one hand free for a snare, maybe, but it probably wouldn't be at the same time as a tom hits. So you want to kind of think of how a drummer would do it. Now... Also, I could put some kicks in here because technically the kick is hit with the foot. So they could do something like this. And that would give it some more sauce as well. Let's try creating another drum fill if I just deleted all of this. So even something like that could add some sauce. Let's hear how that sounds in the beat. So it's really all about finding a nice rhythmic pattern that goes well with your other drums. So don't be sleeping on trying to add drum fills. Now, obviously, you don't have to always create your own drum fills. You can get different loops out there. There's a bunch of different packs, like Count Cold Drums has a lot of different uh, breaks or fills. For example, in Count's Memory Bank Drum Pack 3, Here's some of the fills. You see, and he gets extra crazy with it. So even listening to some of these can help you learn how to create better fills yourself. See, incorporating symbols and other stuff would be really good as well. So yeah, just try to be creative with it. That's really pretty much anything when it comes to beat making. It's all about your own creativity. You don't have to follow a blueprint. You don't have to follow what everybody else does. Just be you and make the music that's in your soul. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.